My business that was killing it at the time completely went to crap. I lost all of my money. I was five months behind on my car payment and I was living off of pasta. And I thought to myself, this isn't my life. Like this isn't what my life is going to be. I need to create something of myself. Today, we're gonna talk about all of the things in your life and decide whether it's something that's serving you for your highest good to create the life that you want to, or if it's holding you back from creating the life that you want. And the question that I have for you to start this off is have you sat down with a pen and paper and actually started to think about everything that's in your life, everything that's inside of your awareness and figuring out, is it good for you or is it not good for you? See, part of the quote unquote awakening process, you can call it, is realizing that you've been asleep, realizing that you are unconsciously doing things throughout your day that you might not even be aware of, right? Being asleep means that you do things that you're unaware of most of the time. And, you know, Harvard says that 48% of what somebody does is a habit. 48% of what someone does is autopilot. The question is, is your autopilot serving you or is it holding you back? Have you been living a lot of your life up until this moment completely asleep? Now it's time to wake up. It's time to look at your life and it's time to start living intentionally. And the way that I learned this, if I'm being completely honest with you, was 10 years ago when I went through the hardest moment of my entire life. And it was October 2010 and I was inside of my one bedroom apartment. My business that was killing it at the time completely went to crap. I lost all of my money. I was five months behind on my car payment. I almost lost my car and I was living off of pasta for literally two months. That was all I ate from, from Walmart was pasta. And I went through it and I was sitting inside of my living room on the floor because I didn't even have furniture. And I thought to myself, this isn't my life. Like this isn't what my life is going to be. I need to create something of myself. And what I did was I took out a pen and paper and I went through my entire life everything. I'm going to take you through the same process. Went through my entire life and thought to myself, is this thing right here, this person or this place or this activity or mindset or habit that I have, is it serving me for my highest good of becoming the person that I want to be in 10, 15, 20 years down the road? Or is it pulling me back into the old version of myself and holding me back from being as great as I possibly can be? And we're going to go through as many things as possible today. If you have a pen and paper, it'd be really good to go through with a pen and paper with me. And my goal is to try to wake you up to the actions that you take, through the things that you do, the people that you surround yourself with, to see if all of those things are serving you for your highest good, for your highest potential, so that you can bring your greatness, whatever that is, out to the world. And so the question is that I have for you as we go through all of these things is, does it serve me? Just think about that. Does it serve me? Does it serve me for my highest good? Right? If you think, you know, I went through this process 10 years ago and my life is completely different than it was 10 years ago, but I got rid of a lot of stuff. I did some housekeeping. I cleaned up a lot of crap that was sitting around the house in my head, in my life, everything, right? 10 years from now, you could have your dream life. What do you want that to look like? right? What is the house that you want, that you want it to look like? The family, the cars, the clothes, the business, the happiness that you want, the love and respect that you want for yourself and for people around you. Where do you want to travel to? What impact do you want on the world? When you think of that future self, I want you to realize that that is 100% possible. That future version of yourself is out there. It's possible. You can create that future version of yourself, but you won't create it unless you sit down with a pen and paper and go through intentionally kind of like what we're going to do right now. And so I want to go through the same process with you, the same process I went through with myself, the same process that completely changed my life 10 years ago. And from that moment on, I really started to rebuild. And so we're going to go through everything in your life and we're going to see, does it support you? Does it serve you in the future of you that you want or does it hold you back? Okay. So here we go. Let's do it. One thing that I want you to think about that I think is really big for people, it's kind of not even in their awareness a lot of times. I mean, this is really big for a lot of people, is alcohol, right? Does alcohol serve you? And here, if you want to keep drinking alcohol, I have no problem with that. There's no judgment. But the, the way I think of it is, does it serve you for your highest good? One of the biggest realizations that I had was that when I drink alcohol, for me, as I tend to get older, the older that I get, the more that alcohol affects me for 
long term, right? I didn't know what a hangover was when I was younger. Now I definitely know what a hangover is. And it's not just like a, you know, one day hangover. It's like a four day hangover. And I remember reading an article and the article said that alcohol stays in your system for up to 80 hours. That's over three days. And so I thought to myself, okay, if I want to impact the world at a massive scale, and I want to go out and do good, and I want to create the business that I want, and the life that I want, and the lifestyle that I want, and be able to travel the world and make money and help people out. If I have a drink on Sunday, a couple of drinks on Sunday, it's going to be in my blood and in my system and dragging me down, even if it's just a little bit dragging me down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that means Thursday, Friday are the only times that I'm really operating 100%. And I thought to myself, is that serving me? And it was that kind of wakening up that woke me up to be like, alcohol doesn't really serve me anymore. Like, do I still drink it? Sometimes, yeah. You know, I have a margarita or a glass of wine every once in a while, but I don't really drink like I used to. I used to get trashed pretty often. Doesn't happen anymore. So when you think about alcohol for you, you know, is it, is it serving you or is it numbing you? Right? Are you going out and celebrating? Whose success are you celebrating? Are you celebrating yours or, or what? Think about that. Is it serving you at your highest good to become the person that you want to be? Or is it numbing you and holding you in place or even holding you back? Just think about that. There is no perfect answer. It's whatever it is for you. So think about that. Is alcohol serving you? Cool. Let's go to the next subject. Think of everybody that you surround yourself with. Are these people that you surround yourself with, are they pushing you to your goals? Are they challenging you to get better? Or are they holding you back? Are they excited for your success or do they try to poke holes in your success? Are they the people that are like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm so glad you did that. Or are they like the type of person where if you won the lottery, they talk trash about how much you had to pay in taxes. Like, you know, those types of people, they can find problems and everything. Oh, you won the lottery. Oh my gosh, you probably have to pay so much money in taxes, right? So are they supporting your success in the person that you want to become or are they holding you back? Right? Do these people and go through and think of all of the people that you spend a lot of time with and think about it. Do they serve you and do you serve them at the highest level? Right? Think about that relationship and see if it's a relationship that you need to keep or maybe a relationship that you should, you know, start to dwindle down. Maybe not hang out with that person as much. What is a relationship that would serve you more that you could serve at a high level as well? Right? What about your significant other? Are they on the same path as you? You know, do they support you in every way? Do you support them in every single way? Or do you feel like maybe you've outgrown the relationship? I don't know. I don't know. There is no perfect answer. You know the answer to it. You do intuitively know the answer. So are they supporting you? Do they want to see you win? Do they want the best for you? Do they push you to get better? Make the best out of yourself, the best out of your life? Think about that. The people in your life, your friends, your family, your significant other, are they serving you at the highest level to be the best that you could be? And are you serving them at the highest level to be the best that they could be as well? Okay. Another thing to think about, what about the food that you eat, right? Food either gives you energy or it takes energy away from you. The most, uh, the most energy consuming thing that your body does on a daily basis is digestion. If you're eating food, I promise you this, your energy is going to be throughout the day. But if you're eating really great food, really energy rich food, high vibration food, you're probably going to have a lot more energy throughout the day. If you're going to create this beautiful life that you want, this amazing life, you're going to have to have the freaking energy to do it, aren't you? So the food that you eat is the food that you eat serving you to the highest level to become the person that you want to become. Think about that, right? There's certain things that I don't allow myself to eat throughout the entire day, but then maybe in dinner, I'll eat something that's a little bit heavier, right? Maybe I'll hold off the that we live in Texas, there's really great Mexican food. And maybe I hold off the Mexican food until dinner because I don't want it to weigh me down. There's certain things that I know give me energy and there's a lot of things that take energy away from me. I don't have those things that take energy away from me because I want to be able to have the energy to create the life that I want. So the food that you eat, your breakfast, your snacks, your lunch, your dinner, all of those things, are they serving you at the highest level to become the highest version of yourself? Okay, another thing to think about, what about your morning routine? Do you have one? Do you even wake up? Do you wake up right before the alarm goes off? And then you're jumping out of bed and you're excited and you're ready to go into your morning routine and you meditate and you read or you exercise or do whatever it is your morning routine looks like. Or are you waking up late, hitting the snooze many times, right? What does your morning routine look like? Is your morning routine 
serving you at the highest level and setting you up for success in the morning? Or is that holding you back from the very beginning in the morning? Something to think about. What's your morning routine look like? Is it serving you at the highest level? What about the environment that you live in? The place that you live in? The car that you have? Is it clean? Is it dirty? How does it make you feel? A cluttered house is a cluttered mind. So in your environment, is your environment clean? Is it a place that you love? Do you hate living there? If you lived in a different place, would you have more energy? One thing that was really eye-opening to me when I bought a house that had a ton of light inside of it, I didn't realize how much more energy I had with natural light all around me. And then after that moment, and I lived, bought a house, all of the places that I've lived in, all the places I've bought since then, have all had tons of natural light. Because I realize that when I'm in a dark house, I don't have as much energy. When I'm in a house that's bright, I feel like I'm waking up more, like I have more energy. So the environment that you live in, do you feel like the environment supports you for the success that you need? Your desk that you do all of your schoolwork in, or you do all of your work in, or you do all of your meetings from, your Zoom meetings, does your desk support you for the success that you want? Does everything around you, the environment that you have, does it make you feel alive or does it bring you down? Something to think about. The environment that you're in, does it serve you at the highest level? Okay. What about the body that you have? Is your body serving you at the highest level? Are you fit? Have you thought about that? Are you carrying a lot of extra weight? Then maybe that's weighing you down. Maybe that's taking extra energy throughout the day. Maybe you struggle to have energy throughout the day because of some of the things that you do. You know, it, the way I've always thought of it is like, you know, I used to work out really hard because I was insecure and I just wanted a nice body. But now I'm like, you know what? This body supports me for the, the life that I'm trying to create, for the people that I'm trying to impact, for, the, for the, the mass scale that I want to have on the world. So if the food isn't supporting me, I'm not gonna have it. If the, you know, laying around doesn't support me, I'm gonna figure out a way to force myself to get up and work out. I need this body to work at its highest level so that my brain can work at its highest level so that I can go out and create what I want. You know, so your body, when you're looking at your body, does it serve you? Or do you need to start shifting some things around, do some things differently so that therefore you can have it serving you at your highest level to create what is it you wanna create? What about your workout routine? You know, are you, you know, do you have one in the first place? You know, do you need to work out more? Do you need to work out less? That's one thing people don't talk about a lot. I always talk about how much you need to work out more, having more workouts, but there's also some people, and I've been in this situation before, where you work out so much you're actually doing harm to your body because you won't stop working out. Your joints are starting to hurt more. Your back's starting to get, you know, your knees, all of the, your hips, your ankles, all of those things are starting to be weighed down by all of the extra weight. You know, when I used to be really hardcore into working out, I worked out seven days a week because I was just like, I love working out. But then I realized I was actually starting to do harm to my body because my body had to freaking have some time off so that it could repair itself. So. What does your workout routine look like? Do you have one? Do you need to work out more? Do you need to work out less? Is it supporting you in becoming the person that you want to become, right? What about your mindset? Do you have a positive mindset? Do you have a negative mindset? Do you have a, a champion's mindset, a victim mindset? Does your mindset serve you for becoming the person that you want to become? Think about that. What aspects of your mindset do you need to change in order for you to be able to be in the situation that you need to? You're like, you know what? I judge people too much. That's not, that's not serving me. I don't, there's no reason to judge people too much. Maybe I should get more loving, more supportive. You know, maybe I should do stuff for other people. Maybe I should focus more on reading more mindset books or listening to more podcasts or watching more YouTube videos. What is it that you need to do? Does your mindset serve you for your highest good? What does it look like if you were to shift some things around, if you were to create your perfect mindset? What would that look like? What about your job? Is your job supporting you at the highest level? Or is it holding you in place? Is it a job that you want? Is it your dream job? Is it you know, a job that you, that you love to go to or you at least enjoy? Or do you hate your job? Is going to your job soul sucking? Does it feel like you're just wasting your life away at your job? I don't know where you are. I know I've been in a situation where I felt like my job was sucking my soul. And I literally felt like I was slowly dying every, I mean, I guess we're all slowly dying at all times, right? But I felt like every time I went in there, I was like, I'm losing an extra day of my life. On top of this day that I'm working, I'm also losing an extra day because I'm just so depressed from having to go and work here, work for this company, work for this boss. Does your job support you and serve you for your highest good? 
Or should maybe you find a way to transition out of it, make a plan to leave it and do something different or create your own business over the next two years. I'm not saying quit today unless you want to, but I'm saying, could you have a transition time if it's not serving you at the highest level? What about the music that you're listening to? Have you ever thought about the fact that if you're singing along to a song, that is basically an affirmation. Is the music that you're listening to supporting you for your highest good, or is it actually holding you back? If you've been listening to me for long enough, you've realized that I've switched a lot of the music that I used to listen to because I realized this isn't the type of, like, I don't think this way, right? Some of the stuff that I was listening to, I was like, ah, I don't, I don't think this way. I don't agree with what they're saying. I love the beat. I love the rapping over it. I love the singing over it, but that's not actually my beliefs. And anything I'm saying out loud or anything that I'm hearing is brainwashing me in some sort of way. So is this what I want to brainwash myself with, good or bad? Or is it not serving me at the highest level? So is the music that you're listening to, is it serving you at the highest level? Does it make you feel better? Does it make you feel worse? Do you dance around? Do you feel like you're listening to some depressing stuff? What is it? It's up to you. I don't know. There is no perfect dancer. What about Netflix? Do you go home and throw in some hot pockets and then watch Netflix for four hours until you need to go to bed? Is that serving you at the highest level? The stuff that you're consuming, you know, the, the media that you're consuming, the stuff that you're listening to, stuff that you're watching, the stuff that you're reading, everything that you surround yourself with that comes into your awareness on a daily and weekly basis, is it serving you at the highest level? If you're watching Netflix and you feel like it's serving you and you're watching documentaries that are expanding your mindset and your consciousness, cool. But are you going home and just watching stuff that's just numbing you? Oh, I'm so tired from today. I just want to go ahead and just turn my brain off. Listen, I've been there before, 100%. Where I'm just like, I hated my job so much, I just need to numb myself by watching Netflix so that I can forget about how much I freaking hate what's going on in my life right now and where I feel stuck, right? Is that serving you at the highest level or is that holding you into that place? It's just something to think about, right? What about your evening routine? Does it serve you? Do you have an evening routine? Do you sit and meditate or go over your goals or read before you go to bed or do you just watch Netflix, brush your teeth and go to bed? Do you watch you know, TV in bed, does that serve you, right? Just think about all of the aspects of your life and ask yourself, is it serving me? Do I need to keep it or do I need to remove it? If it's something that is not serving me for my highest good of the life that I'm trying to create, I need to get that shit out of there, right? People underestimate how much weight they carry mentally and how much those things that they have that are they're unaware of are holding them back from the life that they truly want. Like how much that job is holding you back and holding you down mentally and physically without, you know, it's in sitting in the back of your subconscious of, I don't want to freaking be here anymore. That weight's holding you back. That, you know, person that you're surrounding yourself with is holding you back in some sort of way. People underestimate how much they're being held down by all these things. And if it doesn't serve you, you got to get rid of it. But first it requires awareness. You have to have the awareness of whether something is serving you or not before you decide if you're going to let go of it or, you know, keep it in your life. So what you have to do is look at your entire life and design your life. Because if you don't realize, whether you realize it or not, at every moment in time, you're making decisions and you're designing your life. You can either do it consciously and intentionally, or you can just let it happen to you and have it all, all happen on autopilot. So the way that you figure out whether something is, is going to help you to your highest good is to ask yourself the question, is this serving me? If you can ask yourself that a hundred times throughout the day, is this serving me? Is this serving me? Is this relationship serving me? Is this job serving me? Is this, you know, this uh, environment serving me? Is this show serving me? All of these things, you can start to remove the things that are not serving you at your highest good and you can replace it with things that are going to help you become the person that you want. Because ultimately, as I said, you're designing your life at every single moment. You might as well be intentional about it. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. But what if I told you that in 10 years, 10 years from today, you will have a life that you absolutely love, like the perfect life. Would that excite you?